Well, uh, the big event for the weekend, as I said, the OPEC non-OPEC meeting will have the big fallout on Monday. My expectations are for a weak agreement that will be dismissed by markets and could lead to a fall in oil prices. But you never know, maybe we'll have a rise in oil prices on a substantial meeting. Anyway, this will dominate markets on Monday. Oil and stronger oil is good for the Canadian dollar. Also, uh, it drags along uh, the Australian New Zealand dollar, weakens the Japanese yen. On the other hand, if we, as I suspect, we will have something really insignificant, we'll have a fall in oil, fall in commodity currencies, and a rise in the Japanese yen. On Tuesday, we have a German zoo survey. Um, so that will give us a view on the uh, German economy. We heard today that Volkswagen uh, lost a bit of its market share, but it's still a successful company, of course. Uh, we have also US housing data on Tuesday, something I didn't write here, but we have the New York primaries in both the Democratic and Republican parties in the United States. It'll be interesting to watch. So far, we haven't had any market impact uh, from the US primaries, but perhaps this could be a bit more decisive. On Wednesday, we have the UK jobs report, including the wage things. This could also feed into the Brexit debate, of course. Um, and on Thursday, Thursday, we have the, it's the most important day. As I see it, we have UK retail sales and then the ECB decision, the Draghi show. Uh, the ECB is frustrated by the strength of the euro, despite introducing a huge stimulus package. No cha policy changes are on the cards after the big move in March. There are also no new forecasts, but Draghi could reopen the door for doing much more and could, of course, also up the ante at the rhetoric on what governments need to do. Uh, Friday could be sort of a hangover day from the from Draghi. Draghi always provides action to markets. I'm, I'm a real fan. And what we still have Eurozone PMIs. And for those trading the loonie, it's uh, concentrated. It's a simultaneous release of retail sales and CPI just before the weekend. So the big events for the week are the Doha meeting about oil, the oil summit. Uh, let's see if Russia and Saudi Arabia can agree on something and if this something is serious. And we have uh, the ECB decision on Thursday. Uh, that's the third week of April, April 18th to April 22nd. Uh, five minute bearish protection. Ah. Price section, sorry, on a euro dollar. Let's look at that uh, before we go into the sunset, sunrise, wherever you are. Anyway, five minute chart. Yeah, we're, we are seeing some action here. Um, if you look at the five minute charts, it's, it's a bit noisy. Um, was sort of some US dollar strength, but we're back into range. Um, I think markets are waiting. Yeah. I think we'll, things will wake up a bit more once we have more headlines regarding oil and, and when we have the US uh, session. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for coming.